All right, let's see what goodies we have from AXP. Flash plate, chain guard, and the linkage guard. So let's put them in. Thick stuff. That's six millimeters. Okay, so there's a sticker. I guess that's the first thing that we have to install. Matches the color of the bike, so. so I guess it's gonna look pretty good. Cool, that's nice. These threads are not pulling in very well. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, maybe there's paint in the threads. So if you put this on, just be careful that you don't strip the threads because it's only six millimeter thread. So you could easily strip it. Okay, third try. I have to check where the hole is. It's right there. Yeah, I think it's going now. Yes, well, it's a minute. Okay, and then the rear end. You have to put the linkage card in. And it's gonna come above this bottom plate, bash plate. So between the frame and the splash plate it should be coming here. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's not perfect, I know. Okay, there's a couple of washers for the bolts. So you put it in like this. So you don't need the bolts that are come with the bash plate. You just put in these washers and you try to find the good place for it. So it should come like this in here yeah okay that's in uh, let's see the other side because the bash plate is plastic you have to you might have to bend it with your knee a little bit to get it to thread into the right place i guess it's going now okay the washer is really small i would probably change these washers out for something bigger because it is digging into the plastic yeah way too much yeah it, the plastic is too soft for those washers the washer that comes with the kit is way too small i would never use this i am trying to get rid of these passions of foot bags so maybe i can use the washers from that yeah it looks like it fits Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting in these washers to the rear end of the plate install from the passenger foot pegs. I don't ride it to pillion with this bike, so I have a Tenere for that. So there's a way bigger washer there that doesn't dig into the plastic that as easily. Actually, should I, should I still have... I don't think I would have to have the... Pen. Okay, what the instructions don't tell you, if you buy both of these products, the instruction is like this. You can't tell what the pictures are saying. Makes no sense. But if you just bolt this on with the screws that come with the product and then put this back plate instead of these, these washers, these plastic washers, these washers are actually thicker 
than the plate that comes in the rear end. So it twists the plastic a little bit if you just screw it in. It works, but it's uh, twisted. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting these of course, of course it went down there. I'm putting these into the skid plate. So I'm putting them in here. So it comes right that. It does uh, maybe a millimeter or two millimeters thicker install. And then I put this rear end on top of that. And now it should be pretty much the same thickness as these washers that come with the front part. This is a bit of Okay. New try. Now I have the spacers there. I'm putting this on top. And I have the bigger washers here. Okay, now it's taking contact and now it's twisting. It's still twisting a little bit. A fair bit actually. Maybe I could still add something there. I still have to add something in between. <clears throat> Okay, I finally got it installed. And now it's not twisting the plastic as much as you can see it's straight. It wasn't as easy at, as they say on the video instructions and on the paper instructions that I got from AXP. Just so you know, what I did was first when the frame hole is underneath there, you can't really see it from here. So against the frame, I put a washer like this. And then on top of that will come this rear section, this plastic. And then these products that you see here, I installed this way around on top of this bash plate part. So this washer here, this portion is in between these two plates. So it's creating a little bit of a lift so that this wouldn't be as close to the frame. And after that, I still put one more washer here that you can see. And I replaced the AXP washers with uh, bigger ones. As you can see, the AXP one is really small and it's digging into the plastic really easily. You don't even need to twist it that hard. Just a little bit and it goes in like butter. So really you have to change these and I hope AXP will change this in the future so you get bigger washers underneath the bike. But this is a must, I changed it out. So right now it looks to be working nicely. It's, it is in, against the linkage here, there's no room here, but it's not bending too much. And when the bike goes down, it's gonna relieve the tension here, but this is not bent. It's pretty straight at the moment. If it is bent, it's ever so slightly, so it doesn't really matter. In the front, I just put in the stickers and I put it, put the plate here as it's instructed. So there's this washer part here and then just the longer bolts that are meant to be here. So that's the install done. I am probably going to put some thread lock in the future, but now that it's installed, it's going to be way easier. I don't have to figure out how it's going to be done. So... Now it works. And let me show you the bottom. There's my hair, probably. So yeah, it's protecting pretty well, I, I think. The water pump here is pretty well protected, as you can see. There's a lot of plastic to cover some of the sides of the engine. Let's go to the other side. Yeah. So as you can see, it's uh, protecting the engine covers from spray of uh, rocks or any debris that comes from the front tire. So it's a pretty good product, I think. But the install wasn't, wasn't as straightforward as it uh, probably should be. But yeah, that's the AXP part done. There you go. I know this wasn't a professional video or anything, but I just wanted to show you a quick install on the XP plate. So, see you on the next video. Bye.